What's good YouTube, this is Kerrigan Beats, and today I'm going to be bringing you a MIDI keyboard tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to assign individual sounds to your drum pads, and also to your MIDI keyboard if you don't have drum pads. So I have the M Audio Auction N49, and it comes with 8 drum pads, so that's what I'm going to be setting up. So let's get started. First thing that you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to insert the FPC channel and it comes with every FL Studio, so you don't have to worry about getting it. Um, then once you're inside here, you're going to want to map your pads for all the pads on the uh, um, plugin. So you click the drop down there and go to Map Notes for Entire Bank. And depend Depending on how many pads you have, um, that's how many you'll map. So I have eight, so I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you're done with all your pads, you're just going to click cancel, and now all my drum pads play different sounds, but these are obviously the sounds that you don't want, so first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to each drum pad on here, and actually, depending on how many pads you have, I'm just going to delete all these because I have eight pads, so go to each pad and delete all the sounds that are on it. Alright, so now I have eight empty pads that are mapped. Oh, never mind, I missed one. Alright, so now, now that you have all of these cleared, you're going to want to add your own sounds to your drum, um, your drum pads. So, first thing I'm going to add is a kick. And all you're going to want to do is click and drag to whatever pad you want it on. So I'm going to drag it to my first pad. Now if I go to my first pad, it plays the kick. Now let's say you want a snare. Click and drag to the second pad. And now I have a kick and a snare. Now let's say you want to add a hat. You're going to click and drag the hat to the third pad. And now you have a kick, snare, and a hat. And that's pretty much it on how you set up your own um, pads to play individual sounds. Now this plugin allows you to save um, your kits as presets and also you can save um, like entire kits and you can export them and whatnot. So that's how you do that. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do this if you don't have drum pads and if you want to do this with just the keyboard. So um, let's X out of that. What you're going to do is you want to insert another channel. It's going to be the layer. And this is fairly simple. All you have to do is um, right click all the sounds that you want to be assigned to your keyboard and then you click set children and then click the down arrow and split children and this will assign um, your sound starting from kick going to snare and to hat they will assign it to separate keys starting at the C5 key and going up so C5 I'll play the kick going up oh wait I always do this you have to make sure you click the layer before you start this so It'll play the kick at C5 and keep going up, snare, and hit. So now your keyboard and your pads are set up to play individual sounds. Oh, that's messed up. Anyways, I um, hope this helps. If you guys have any problems or concerns, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer. Uh, if you enjoyed this and it helped you, give it a like and share it. Um, that's about it for this tutorial. I'll catch you guys in the next video.